All right, that last problem is too easy. This one <laughs> might be on the other end of the spectrum. This is a, is a tough one. This is an interesting one. And I think some of these problems, the hardest part is figuring out what is it telling me and figuring out what is it asking for. And then, you know, you got to figure out how to get it, how to get there. So uh, here we go. We've got one cubic meter tank that contains air at 10 degrees C, 350 kPa. It's connected by a valve to another separate tank that contains three kilograms of air at that temperature and that pressure. The valve is open and the entire system is allowed to reach thermal equilibrium with the surroundings, which are at 20 degrees C. Determine the volume of the second tank and the final equilibrium pressure of the air. All right, so we have two separate tanks that are closed off. They're connected by a valve. Now, these are these the same size? Are these different sizes? This one over here, one cubic meter, 10 degrees C, 350 kPa. That's all we know about that first one. This, this other one is three kilograms, uh, 35 degrees C, 200 kPa. And the valve is opened, and then, so th this is kind of state one, state two. Uh, now, the valve is open and it is all one, you know, it's all together and it's all at the same pressure and it's all at 20 degrees C, 20 degrees C right here. Okay, now I could use something like PV equals RT um, to, find some, to find out some information. All right, did you notice that uh, it gave me the volume of this first one, but it didn't give me the volume of the second one. It gave me the uh, mass of the second one. Uh, so I, do, I know the volume of the first tank is one cubic meter, but the second tank, I don't know the volume. Right, the second tank, I don't know the volume. So do you think we could get the volume from PV equals RT? Huh? Do you think we could get the volume from PV equals RT? Yeah, I, I, I think we can. I think we can. Instead of this lowercase v, we know that lowercase v is capital V over M. So uh, I am just going to isolate state 1. Ju let's just look at state 1, tank 2. And sometimes, I do this in, in lots of my classes, um, I make a note of what am I looking at? What is this equation for? This equation is just for state one, and it's just for tank two, uh, because I know the mass, three kilograms. I know the pressure, 200 kPa. I know the temperature, 35. I could get the R from table one, and so the only unknown in the PV equals RT would be the volume, which I could solve for. All right, so the pressure, 200 kPa. The volume, I don't know. The mass, 3 kilograms. Uh, the R, let me go to table A1 for air. So go to our property tables. Uh, go to A1 for air. There we go. Uh, the gas constant is 0 0.2870. Now instead of using those units, I'm going to use these units, which are the same. All right, so 0 0.2870 uh, kPa meters cubed per kilogram K. So here we go back to our notes. This would be 0 0.2870 kPa meters cubed per kilogram K. And then what is the temperature? The temperature, 35 degrees. Can I just plug in 35? No, this and the units help you out. But for PV equals RT, this temperature needs to be absolute temperature in Kelvin. So I need to take 35 plus 273. Now I'll just do 273. You know, you could do 273.15. And so that would be, uh, you know, 308 Kelvin. Let's see, let's see if the units work out. That Kelvin, can't start with that Kelvin. All right, KPA and KPA, kilogram, kilogram, meters cubed, meters cubed. Yeah, so I can just solve for... The velocity, right? The, not the velocity, not the velocity, not the velocity, the volume. I can solve for the volume right here. I'll get the volume of tank two, 1.326 
meters cubed. 1.326 meters cubed. All right, so that was one thing that it asked for. What's the final equilibrium pressure uh, of the air? All right, so now that we calculated the volume, state two, the final temperature is 20 degrees C. The final volume, it, it, it fills up both of these tanks. These tanks aren't changing. You know, it doesn't say anything about the volume changing or a um, constant, um, you know, there's no piston that is increasing the, the volume. So the volume is now there together, right? The volume is now going to be 1 from tank 1 and 1.3 Two six from tank two, so the total volume two point three two six meters cubed. How about the mass? They're they're allowed to uh, come together. The mass from the first one and the second one uh, will will go together, um, and so the mass from the second one is three. The mass from the first one. Oh man, it did not tell that to us, right? It didn't tell that to us. Um, I think I need it. Why do I think I need it? I think I need it because PV equals RT. I know the T. I know the R. I want to find the P, so I'm looking for the V. How do I find the lowercase v? Uppercase v divided by mass. I need to know the mass total. It's 3 plus, I don't know, were there 2 kilograms in here? Was there only 1? So let me take a step back. And before I think about state two, let me go back to state one. Let me go to tank one and let me PV equals RT to find the mass because I can do PV over M and I think I know all this to get the mass, right? All right, so state one, tank one, the pressure was 350 kPa. The volume was one meter cubed. The mass, M is what I'm looking for, equals 0.287 kPa meters cubed per kilogram K. Um, and times the temperature, it was, what, 10 degrees plus 273, so 283 Kelvin. Everything works out. The mass, 4.309 kilograms. That's just tank one initially just tank one initially. So now at state two, my total mass was uh, three and 4.309, so 7.309 kilograms. Now I bet you if we know this, if we know this, if we know this and use ideal gas, we can find the pressure. We can find the pressure. All right, so now I'm looking at both tanks, state two, PV equals RT, and V is capital V over M. Pressure, what I'm looking for, volume, total volume now, 2.326 meters cubed per total mass, 7.309 kilograms, equals R.287 kPa meters cubed per kilogram K temperature, was 20 degrees C, this would be 293, okay, and then solve for P, right, one equation, one unknown, isolate that, solve for it, 264 kPa. All right, man, that was interesting, nothing, nothing terribly difficult, it was just deciphering what the problem was telling us, what it was asking for, how do we get there, right, how do we get there using our ideal gas equation. So, in general, you know, be, be looking out for these problems where you know the mass, but you don't know the volume. You can use PV equals RT to find that. Or, you know the volume and the temperature and pressure, you know, and you don't know the mass. You can use PV equals RT to get there. Um, what might end up happening is you might kind of skip ahead to state two, right? This, this is probably what I would have done. I probably would have skipped ahead to state two. I would have tried this right here, PV equals RT, and I would have plugged in my T, because it told me the T for state two, I plugged in my R, and then I would have, you know, I'm looking for my P, so I'm not going to have P, and so that means I, I need to know this lowercase v, 
And so in order to know the lowercase v, I need to know capital V divided by M. So, so then I, I, would, I would be asking myself, okay, what is the total V? You know, uh, they didn't really tell me. They, they told me the, veloc- the volume, volume, volume. They told me the volume of tank one, but I don't know the volume for tank two. So, so I need to use PV equals RT of state one to get the volume of, of tank two just so I can get this capital V. How about the mass? Well, they told me the mass of the second one. Didn't tell me the mass of the first one. Use PV equals RT to get the mass of the first one. Uh, then you can use PV equals RT for state two to get um, that final answer. That was a, a tough one, an interesting one, but I think you can do it, right? We'll see.